the material paper published in 2015, yeah, led by David Mooney and then Ovid Chadri, so two <coughs> famous guys in mechanical biology. So first, they are making, making this graph. This is very important. As I told you last week, covalently cross-linked hydrogel using metacalation, chemically cross-linking, stress. So you can imagine you have eraser, you push compressed eraser, and then after 10% compression, you maintain. Maintain the compressed strain. And then you, what? Hmm. Throw it. Oh. And then you measure the how the material can resist the this compressed strain. So stress means the initial 10% compress. Let's say, imagine maybe in this case 15% compressed, and then they maintain the strain. And then meanwhile, the material try to enlarge themselves, right? So in, in case of covalent cross linking, the tension force, they never go down, right? But in case of our tissue from original body, like adipose, liver, brain, fracture, and hematoma on covalent marrow and collagen gel, their resisting force is going down. Right? And then up to 1,000 seconds, maybe some liver and brain, they obtain almost 50% of the stress compared to initial. In case of collagen, it is low scale. 10, 10 seconds later, the stress diminished to the half. Right? And then people want to say, even though you are using a lot of covalent chromatic hydrogel, they never same in terms of this stress relaxation phenomenon compared to your original body tissue. Okay? This is their first uh, implication. The next. Okay. And then we want to know. So this kind of stress relaxed is called stress relaxation. Okay? So what is the example of the non-stress relaxation material? Spring. Can you imagine? When you imagine the spring, when you compress, and then when you remove the force, they come back original position. And then even though you are maintaining the compressed strain, they continuously try to enlarge, go back to your original position. So this is non-stress relaxation material, but our original body, they have elasticity and then visco viscosity, so they are stress relaxed. So this is some uh, unique material property from the viscoelasticity material. So viscose means more water. Elasticity is more like eraser or some plastic, plastic or some elastic ball, okay? So their combination of this elasticity and viscosity is called viscoelasticity. So in, in figure B, they are using arginate and then using high molecular weight, low molecular weight, and then low molecular weight plus PEG spacer. So depending on the molecular weight, low molecular weight show more fast sex relaxation because they are less, how can I say, less mixed, less entangled. But in high molecular weight, there are more chance to interact each other intermolecular level. So they have some more hydrophobic phobic interaction or bande bar sports interaction. So because of that, they have more power to maintain their force. And then in case of, in the presence of PG spacer, they have more space between among the molecule, so they can show more fast cell relaxation. So this can be conceptualized like this. 
high molecular weight, low molecular weight, mid molecular weight, and then with pH spacer. And then for saying the how fast stress relaxed of the gel, they measure the half of tau. Half of tau means the initial stress up to which time point they are cut back to 50%. So in case of collagen gel here, what's the time? How long it will take to go back to 0.5 normality, which means around 10 seconds. In case of brain and liver, around 1,000 seconds. In case of cobalt cross shrinking, they never go back. Yeah, above our limitation, right? So in case of high molecular weight, 50% or over 1,000 seconds, middle molecular weight, 200, like, like this, and then blue, around 100 seconds, low molecular weight, around, yeah, like this. But they maintain their initial elasticity, right? As, as you know, elasticity is important for changing the stem cell fate. So here, they want to maintain the elasticity same, but they only want to change the stress relaxation phenomenon. And then after one day, seven days later, elasticity never change, and dry mass means how they are dissolved, how they are dissolved in the water. Degradation, degradation, similar. No, not much degradation, right? So in here, they are making, using the different molecular weight, and pH spacer, they are making four different stress relaxing gel from the high means slow, low means fast. Okay? So low means fast is important. So they start to culture the cell. How stem cells behave differently? First, in the presence of 150 micromolar RGD, actually arginate, they never have a cell binding peptide like RGD. So from the external externally we have to incorporate the RGD in the arginate. During the synthesizing, synthesizing, we are adding this RGD. Mm. So in 150 micromole, when fast crystallization means low molecular weight, fast crystallization, they are more spreading in 3D condition. All cell all condition is 3D, not 2D, okay? And then when they enhance the RGD concentration amount, more prominently spreading, right? So RGD concentration dependent and then stress time dependent. Stem cell behave change in 3D manner. This is their quantification. The length, longest axis. And then, and then in addition to spreading, perforation also change. Proliferation will more enhance in slow and fast fast stress relaxation gel. Okay? And then this they when they compare two different gel, more fast, medium, it looked more fast gel have more long length, longest axis compared to intermediate gel. And then this is also RG density dependent. So you can imagine, so you are the cell and you are in, encapsulated by certain gel, like pudding, you want to escape from the gel. So first, one, this, this elastic gel, let's say a uh, covalent cross elastic gel, you try to, how can I say, change your pudding structure to escape the pudding, but when you try to change it, also the Resist force always maintain, so you have to move it, but just you always have to use your energy to maintain your shape, because always the um, resistant force are induced in gel. So, which means you come to be fatigue, fatigue. It's very hard. So you you just wanna go back to your original position. This is your original position. You want to move it, but 
maybe a certain time, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you can keep, but you always cannot maintain your hand in this in this side because always the other force is induced by the your environment, so they have to go back. But in case of stress lacing gel, you try to move it. Initially, 10 newton maybe they need to maintain the structure shape. But over time, this stress is decreasing. 8, 6, 4, 2. And then you can adjust to this power and then you can maintain your shape change. Okay? This is the concept of the stress relaxation. So, fast stress relaxation means when they move the ECM, the ECM by themselves, they are reorganized and then the resistant power is decreasing because, because the cell already sh changed the shape, changed the ECM. And because of the change by the cell power, cell contraction, ECM also they are self-reorganized. Mm. So when they fast, when the ECM is fast, fastly organized, well, the cell feel more happy. And then they can spread, proliferate, and then later they can differentiate. So next, they are culturing the MSC, half and half media, right? So actually I'm not sure half and half or just single media. Anyhow, in single or half and half media, in the high slow cell relaxation, they show more OLED or adipogenesis, right? But when you compare 9 and 17, 17 to a Pascal in 3D, also very high enough to inhibit adipogenesis. So they never, the stem cell can never differentiate to the adipo tissue, adipo cell. But in the, in the 9 kilopascal is enough to, is low enough compared to adipo tissue. And then in adipo tissue, all cells can differentiate into the adipocyte, right? But the, how good, how many cells are differentiated is more enhanced in slow cell relaxation. Mm. But in case of osteogenesis, different, right? Totally. 9 kilopascal, that single cell, very, very little, they can differentiate into the LP positive cell, meaning osteogenetic cell. But in 70 kilopascal, most of the cell can LP positive, but more enhanced in fast relaxation. Foncosa is a collagen one, is a marker of the calcium and collagen ECM respectively, also more enhanced in fast relaxation, which means when MSC, they are turning to the osteogenic cell, they need the fast relaxation ECM. Cause what is the precursor of the bone? Collagen 1, right? Collagen 1 is already well known, the stress relaxation, relaxing gel or relaxing ECM. So also stem, stem cell or osteogenic cell, they are accustomed to that condition. But when they encapsulate in not stress relaxing gel, they cannot go bone, they can go adipogenic tissue. Which, which is not our intention. And then this is their quantification. And then this phosphor deposition, when you make the bone, you need calcium phosphate. So this is a phosphate deposition, simply. More fast gel have more phosphor, phosphor deposition. So they have power to differentiate into the bone. So for example, if you culture the MSC in 3D condition, the first, the two things you have to consider is that how is the stiffness? More stiff, high stiffness may be better than low stiffness in terms of osteogenesis. Second, 
stress relaxation. When they even the high stiffness, the stress relaxation never happen. Cell cannot differentiate adipogenesis, osteogenesis. So two conditions should be met, should met. High stiffness and then the ECM should be stress relaxed. Stress relaxed. And then they want to know the mechanism detail. So yeah, they depending on the RGD concentration at 70 kilopascal, as you can expect, more RGD can give more ECM binding site to the cell. So they can show more ALB positive cell. And then this tendency is along with the fast sexualization time. And then they check the beta 1 integrin because um, actually integrin consists of alpha and beta, right? Alpha only recognize the RGD, ECM directly. Beta, they never directly contact ECM. They only contact to the focal adhesion inside of the cell. So alpha is more up, beta is like tilted and a little below. So alpha only can touch the uh, out, outer in ECM. Beta, they link to the inside of the cell protein, which is called focal adhesion like vinculin, toxilin, or FAK, other kind of things. So they want to highlight the beta-1 integrin more linked to the inside of the cell. Beta-1 is more enhanced in fast sexualization hydrogel. And then flat means they want to check really the cell can change the ECM. Okay? So Flat means when some signal are located in certain position, they are amplified it, and then you can see flat signal like this. In fast cell selection gel, flat signal you can detect, which means cell can manipulate the ECM by themselves, and then some ECM can be like located in local area, because always cell need to cluster the integrin in one site to make the big focal adhesion. So let's imagine if we want to climb the mountain, when you want to use one single finger, climb the mountain, it's not easy, right? When you have five finger, more easy. So like that, in case of a cell, also cell need more finger to change the ECM, so this integrin should be clustered. Okay, so the flat is enhanced in station, and then they want to know the mechanism. So ML7 Y S C. ML7 is uh, inhibitor of what is that? F. A uh, myosin light chain kinase inhibitor. And then Y is low kinase inhibitor, and then NSC is a ROC1 inhibitor. So myosin like chain kinase. So you can imagine when cell move, what they need? Actin, and then myosin 2, right? So myosin 2 is muscle like component, actin is your bone. So myosin 2 should be moved to move the actin. Okay, so this myosin light chain kinase is the component of the myosin 2. So when they inhibit this kinase, when they inhibit the myosin light kinase, myosin 2 action is gone. So even though you have bone, you cannot move your muscle. And then bone never move, right? So like that. So when the cell cannot activate the myosin 2, what will happen? This tendency of L positive cell number is significantly decreasing. So what they need? They need power to move the actin and to move the integrin and to move the ECM. Okay? 
근데 when they inhibit the y, y27, y27, log kind inhibitor, they are more enhanced. Okay. So when they block the log kinase, they are more enhanced. This is will be unexpected, but unexpected result. So it's NSC. This is some log one inhibitor. They can indirectly manipulate the myosin light chain kinase. So NSC is not change. So ML7 is working, which means direct myosin light kinase change is important for regulating this. 3D environment stem cell phase change. When the interest point is that is G, when they using rock uh, low kinase inhibitor, they unexpectedly go up. Maybe you can read how they mention about this G. Let's find four, figure 4G. Interestingly, inhibition of low resulting enhanced oxygenesis. <coughs> mm. In here, they did mention in detail. Because to me or to you, you already know that YAP, YAP can be mediated by Y27. It's a rock low inhibitor. So normally in 2D condition, low is inhibited. YAP go outside of the nucleus and then cell lose their tension. This is common sense. But in 3D, this is different. They mention like that. They, they, they didn't mention detail, but something changed in 3D. So Haryun, as I told you, when you culture the macrophage in 3D, maybe you can see some unexpected result. Yeah, that can be a very good sign. Based on that, we can start. Why? Actually, our all body condition is 3D, not 2D. So to understand the 3D is very important. Mm -hmm. mm. But compared to 2D, 2D is more easy to do the experiment. Yeah. 2D done a lot, but not many people focus on 3D. So we are focusing on 3D. Mm. <coughs> Pardon? In your case? Yeah. Uh, so your case, you're asking how about performing the experiment in 2D first? Yeah, right. In your case, maybe better to perform in 2D first. Mm, big, but, and then in Harion case, you are, Aria, you are want to study about the uh, macrophage and neuron cell, right? So 2D is more, because no people study about the macrophage neuron cell in different stiffness and co-culture. So that is why this is normality. But in case of Haryun, already people, two paper published in 2D, different stiffness, macrophage. So already, already done. So that's why we are focusing on 3D. Mm. But depending on yeah, what kind of study been there, yeah, have been there, so we have to decide our future plan. So it's the last figure. Uh, they checking the YAP here, YAP and affecting. So YAP, how they behave? YAP can be more nuclear localized in fast cell relaxation compared to slow, right? And then, depending on the stiffness, and not much of change. So here, you can see in case of yeah, stiffness doesn't matter that much in this range. But maybe if you increase the kilopascal to 40 or 50, maybe you have to see. But here, there's not much change, but you can see the tendency <coughs> the increasing of nuclear localization in high is best relaxation. 
So they want to generalize their concept. So adipogenic cell and then YAP ratio and D is oxygenic cell, YAP ratio. As you can see, the tendency is not very clear, right? Maybe when YAP is in 2D, YAP is more nucleolocalized in high, high number this OLED or positive cell decreasing. So they show negative correlation. In case of ALP, positive correlation in 2D condition on different stiffness. But here, 3D, so they cannot catch negative and positive, any of them. So here, this schematic image is good. In 3D, cell have to move the ECM. After binding the ECM using integral and focal adhesion, they, they catch and then they try to shake or move. In that case, they need the power, they need the force. But in, ca in case of elastic matrix, even though cell can shake or move the ECM, the resistance from the ECM they always resist it. So maybe 10 minutes, one hour later, cell come to be fatigue, fatigue, and then they just give up to move it. I don't want to go oxygenesis. Just I'm, I'm gonna live in this adipogenesis cell. Or I'm gonna die. Yeah. No way to yeah, find a way. But in case of viscoelastic matrix, because of viscosity, like the water, first initial time, same with elastic. They need strong power, but over time, the resistance, resistant power from ECM, they are decreasing, decreasing over time. So cell can little bit, little bit move the ECM. And then they can change their shape. In stress relaxing gel, and then among many stress in gel, fast is better than slow in case of oxygenesis. But we are not sure about the macrophage or other kind of neutrophil, which maybe they have a certain range, maybe not very fast, not very slow. Certain range can be optimal. Optimally, they are react. Or maybe fast acceleration, they can boost or activate uh, neutrophil or macrophage activation or not. So in, in like that. 